It is getting chilly in New York, very chilly. I had to plug the Duramax in this morning. Let's see how she starts. That wasn't too bad because there wasn't that much black smoke, blue smoke. That coolant heater is very nice. All right, so let me tell you how today was supposed to go. I was supposed to go to the post office and all the machine merch orders were supposed to go out smoothly. That went okay. So we wrapped up that large process and I wanna thank you for allowing that to be a large process. I went out to my truck and I saw that it was leaking. It's leaking coolant. Now, I don't know if that deer caused that or not, I'm kind of veering more towards it did not, but then again, I haven't seen where the leak is coming from. So I'm going to check that out. I wanted to build my steel table today so that I could work on my other project with Jake on top of that table, along with maybe firing up the Gator engine on top of that table as well. because the table is going to be large and it's gonna be in charge and it's gonna have a lot of room for activities. However, I think I gotta start out my day by cleaning my warehouse so I can pull the Duramax in. Not good. And just like that, not only does my wardrobe change quickly, but also the whole situation. Jake the Toilet Snake made it up here. So instead of working on the Duramax, we wanna have a little bit of fun, so we are going to work on our project outside of our videos right now. You guys will eventually see this final product. Hopefully in December it'll start. Um, but we do want to just finish this thing off camera so that you know we can show you guys a final product. 3D Machines doesn't usually have very many of those. Take the Gator for instance. So we need to build a steel table. Here there's actually a lot of welding whether you see it on camera or off camera. So we want to build something that's legit. This thing is legit. Unfortunately, this time I'm going to weld, so you're gonna have to miss this shot, sorry. We got the first piece tacked up in three spots. I just wanna take the slag hammer and check out our welds. Yeah, just put that in and we get it. Oh, I wasn't supposed to record that. Jake took off, we have the table up, it's looking good. It looks probably short on camera, but it's actually gonna be very, very feasible for work. This is the new machine team workbench. We can weld on this, we can work on things on this thing. It's heavy duty, it's not going anywhere. Moves pretty good. Now when I say we slap this together, I'm, I'm not kidding. Like, it's not, nothing's beautiful on this thing. You know how they say it's not about what's on the outside, it's about what's in the inside. Well, they're full of crap. It's actually, what's below the workbench doesn't matter. It's all about what's on top. And unfortunately, I'm not going to put anything on top of this right now because we are going to go check out the Gator engine. Yo. Alright, so here's the situation. I am strictly trying to get this engine just to run because... There's my glasses because I don't want to get too overly excited and start tearing this apart, start breaking this thing, start modifying, start fabricating this thing to get the supercharger on here. Some people don't take my supercharger too seriously. That's unfortunate. I think it's gonna do a mighty fine job. I'm nervous. I'm nervous for two things. One, 
This engine is not secured, so I don't know what the hell it's gonna do. I don't have two guys here, so I have to basically hang on to this. This shroud isn't completely bolted on, so the flywheel could catch and tear that to pieces. What else am I nervous about? Also nervous, because I don't know if this thing's actually going to run or not. Fuel is on. Here we go. What's the problem? There's no fuel on the spark plugs to get a spark. She wants to run on one cylinder. She's got to run on two. On idle, it's louder than my Duramax. Gator engine officially runs, which is really, really sweet. That's one step closer to putting this thing in, putting exhaust on, putting a supercharger on. I don't know if we're gonna take a test rip before the supercharger or not. If you think I should, leave it in the comment section below. I, I think I should. Now I'm not sure if we're gonna do stacks this way or stacks on the back or stacks at a 45. I don't personally know right now. We do have a fuel issue with this engine right now. Something with the carburetor, I think, but also this intake gasket's bad. I can see it leaking over here. And actually, yeah, over there it's leaking, so I'll have to build a new one tomorrow. I'm not sure if you can buy this, but I do have a whole sheet of material, so I can cut my own out. Jason will be coming over tomorrow. Not sure if Jake's going to make it. Last time Jake said he was going to make it, he did not make it, so it was just Jason and I. I guess that's how toilet snakes roll. I don't know. But while we're on the updates and, and the future, I do wanna update the people that ordered machine merch. All your orders, no matter when you ordered, your orders went out today. So thank you for being patient. Please be more patient if it takes a little longer. This is all new to me, and speaking of new, I am dropping this new gray machine hoodie. It's got these really cool strings. It's clean, unlike me and the Gator right now. Yes. Finally, yes. It looks crisp, it looks professional. That's exactly why I took it off earlier. I figured we were gonna get dirty and crusty and you gotta respect the apparel. Oh, the coolest part about this shirt. Now this is the first official machine sweatshirt. You can look right on the tag. There are the threads. It is comfy, I promise you. So if you wanna be clean, crisp, and professional, unlike you know this whole scenario, you may laugh right now with what's going on, and that's completely okay. My high school friends and people that I used to go to school with, they, they laughed at me all the time because I had you know high expectations. I said I was going to do this, and they were laughing because, you know, Dalton, that's never gonna happen. They look at me now, they realize that it happened. I know right now I look as dirty as a doormat. But me, my friends, the machine team, we are going places. If you want to be like the Gator and Turd Heads, get some machine merch. Not a lot of people have it. Only a couple thousand people have machine merch. With that being said, that's going to wrap up this 3D Machines production. Wish us luck on the Gator tomorrow. I want to get this thing rolling. I want to get this thing rocking. Stay froggy fresh. Be you. Until next time, 3D Machines out. If you're interested in the hoodies, I suggest you put them in your cart as soon as possible. I only got 99 of them. And then I'm not sure when they're gonna be back in stock. The good news is it runs. The bad news is, is the carburetor needs to be adjusted. I don't know about you, but I'm getting sick of Gator Dilemmas. I'm also getting sick of this carbon monoxide.